Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Doherty. I'm a fellowship trained sports medicine orthopedic surgeon with the Agility Center in Bentonville, Arkansas. Here I'm going to demonstrate the use of the rotation medical patch for the repair of a rotator cuff. The rotation patch is a bioinductive implant. It's designed to be laid on top of the rotator cuff tear on the bursal surface. This is utilized for the supraspinatus tendon. In this case, this patient has a tear of the supraspinatus tendon. We can see that the tendon, however, has a much greater tear than was demonstrated on MRI. What we also know is that the patient has remarkably deficient tissue. So we're going to repair this tear with an anchor as well as augment this with our rotation patch. If the tear was of not such a great size, then I would be repairing this tendon with the rotation patch primarily. So here as we elevate, you can see this tear covers a far greater percentage of the supraspinatus footprint. So we're going to take the supraspinatus down to a good bleeding bony bed. With the rotation patch, it's a bioinductive implant. It's designed to be laid right on top of the rotator cuff. It will resorb in around six months, and the patient will grow new tendon-like tissue. So in this patient with a very thin rotator cuff, she will grow a more normal thickness rotator cuff following her repair. We want to make sure that we have a good angle. You can see that I can quickly access the lateral aspect of the humerus here. I've cleared out all my bursal adhesions, also cleared out any spurring to ease the access into the joint. I'm going to go ahead and pass my sutures and tie these down, but again we're dealing with very deficient tissue. The rotation device comes with tendon staples and insertion cannulas for these, as well as bone staples. The insertion cannulas are placed through accessory portals. Here we're introducing our biceps tendon markers. These are spinal needles with these deployment hooks that allow you to accurately mark your biceps tendon. This is very important so that you do not place the graft onto your biceps. So here is the delivery instrument. The rotation medical patch is contained within it. This will serve as our graft. This device deploys out and fans out over our supraspinatus tendon. We can see our biceps tendon markers immediately helping us position. The tendon staples are now introduced. The legs are pushed down through the rotation patch and the absorbable staples inserted. You want to take care to ensure that you do not bridge your metal delivery arms. Otherwise, you'll run the risk of removing the patch as you're trying to pull out the delivery device. So you can see these cannulas, which are included in the kit, allow us to clearly visualize our legs as we push them down through the rotator cuff and push out our deployment staples. We want to fixate this medially, anteriorly, and posteriorly with these blue absorbable staples that come with the kit. And once we've got adequate and secure fixation, then we'll move laterally. This is our bone stapler. Here we're bringing in the punches. These go through a insertion device. So we're going to get these to length. Bring them over to the edge of the humerus, down over the lateral aspect of the greater tuberosity. We're going to make sure that we like our position and that we're in good position. Then we're going to go ahead and punch these tines down into the bone, the legs will follow, and these legs will remain in place. This is going to allow us to insert a bone staple through the tendon, securing the graft in the form of the rotation patch down to the bone. So here we've got excellent fixation. We've placed another bone staple. We have very good position, and we've grafted this deficient rotator cuff with a rotation medical patch.